So as promised, we're having the interview with Kota, the engineer of the Mazda MX-30 REV. And uh, we're sticking by first name basis because we got to know each other yesterday. Yeah. And um, starting with the first question, it's been over 10 years since mm. the Rotary was last seen. Mm. Why is it coming back now? Yeah, we uh, keep looking for the nice timing to return the Rotary engine. And uh, yes, the, the fortunately, the, the, the trend of the market is going towards the electrification. And uh, we uh, start thinking how much compact we can establish the hybrid system, then rotary engine are there. That's why the timing is now. <laughs> okay. As someone who has been with Mazda for basically your mm. entire engineering career, mm. which is like over 20 years now, mm. do you remember what the state of mind was inside the engineering department when it was clear that the rotary engine is coming back? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the, the, our some of our engineers keep developing, keep researching on the rotary engine. So the we when we got the offer of the, this new rotary engine, so that is very pleasure, pleasure time. So we are very glad to hear about that. After the, we start the actual development, we understand how difficult that is because the. Last development on the rotary engine was the over 20 years ago. So the, some of the engineers already retired and the, some of the knowledge already gone. So the, we start develop using the sky active knowledge even on this rotary engine. Then we do the many calculations, many testing on the bench, many things. Then finally we realize that. Okay, so basically the engine was not gone for 10 years internally. You, mm. you kept yeah. on working yeah. on it. That's right. Yeah, that's interesting, okay. <laughs> um, when or why was the choice made to go probably, for, for my point of view, the harder way to uh, develop this new engine instead mm. of going with an existing Skyactiv mm. uh, G, for mm. example? Mm. Do you know when yeah. or why was the decision made? So the our motivation to develop this one is uh, how much compact we can make this uh, hybrid system. Of course, at the first phase, the one of the option is uh, using the Skyactiv-G, but uh, if we put the hybrid system on the Skyactiv-G, that is not fit to the engine base. So this, the rotary engine development is a bit tough, but that is good for opportunity for us to start rotary engine development again. Can you maybe break down in your own words what the exact benefits of this compact system with the rotary engine over maybe the Skyactiv-G engine? Mm. So as you can see on that mock-up, the length of the our hybrid system is so short. Yeah, even me. Uh, <laughs> Even for me, when I saw that mock-up, I was really surprised. I usually see that some part of the unit, but yeah, that the load, thickness of the rotary engine is like this. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that was very glad to see. That's uh, the, our result to develop the rotary engine on that. Yes, the, we are proud to develop the rotary engine, really. Okay, and can you maybe go into detail why the pure EV range was cut down in half compared to the uh, normal MX-30? Yeah, so the we so are... It, because basically, we over the last years we thought it's going to be a uh, range extended battery electric vehicle, mm -hmm. but now it's a plug-in hybrid. Yeah, yeah. So at first we did uh, some market research, how much the mileage the, the typical customer have uh, have one day. Then the other results that 85 kilometer we the, can cover the most of the customer. Then thinking about install add, add the, the hybrid system on current vehicle need to think about the price. So just add the, the hybrid system on the current battery be mm, 
So that is not a realistic price, honestly speaking. <laughs> so we decide, yes, 85 kilometers can cover the most of the customer, and that means the half of the battery is good enough, and we have to have a space for the gasoline tank. To someone who maybe owns or knew the RX-7 or RX-8, and since yesterday I know you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. must know. I still have. <laughs> um, are there any similarities in terms of driving or maybe noise or in the age compared to the old cars in the, yeah, in the new car? Yeah. I'm rotary lovers, one of the rotary lovers, so I expect some feeling, same feeling of the rotary engine on this car. But uh, the, this rotary engine on this car is just the, as the generator. So the feeling is uh, not the same as the rotary engine, of course. And since this is a single motor, single rotor, so the exhaust sound, combustion sound is also different. So the, this is uh, one of the good successor for the rotary engine, but the feeling sound mm, not the same as the rotary engine. Okay. So the, if the customer really likes the feeling of the rotary engine or noise of the rotary engine, mm, that is not the right product for those customers. Okay, so that's the perfect transition to my last question. But I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I hope I'm wrong. But with this engine kind of coming back, can we maybe expect Mazda to return in terms of the rotary engine to a race car or even a sports car? <laughs> because there was the, the RX Vision a few years yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there maybe a chance, a slight change even, that we can maybe see this yeah. kind of car again? So, as the, my personal comment, yeah, I really love the rotary engine. I want to make uh, the sport car with this kind, the rotary engine, but the, uh, honestly speaking, at this moment, the situation in the European areas, the electrification progress so much, so quickly, and uh, we have to catch up that situation. That is has the higher priority. So we uh, concentrate to the electrification for a while, then reaching to the, our midterm plan. After that, when that timing we are look look around the customer situation <laughs> and still we can find a lot of the lottery lovers that is the timing to start thinking the that usage okay mm -hmm. well that's it yeah. thank you very much thank you so much enjoy your time in brussels yeah. thank you